What is a burn down chart? Whenever we are measuring progress in an agile approach project, we would want to know how much of our work is pending. A burn down chart helps us in understanding exactly that. So how do we create it and what does it do? Let us try to see that. Whenever you want to create a burn down chart, you will start with story points on the y axis and sprints or iterations on the x axis. We would try to keep a track on iteration by iteration how many story points are we able to complete. When you look at this chart, there are 120 story points to complete, let us say in this particular release. And we have 7 sprints in which we have to complete that. So your plan would show this straight line that we will start with 120 and we'll end up with 0 story points remaining at the end of 7 sprint. That's what our plan is. Now, whenever the team completes the work at the end of every sprint, they would put up on the chart how many story points are remaining. Sprint by sprint, they will show the charts and you will get this particular dots that the team could put. And when we connect these dots, we will get our actual line as well. When we look at this chart and we see the gap between the plan and the actual, this tells us that there is a variation in what we had planned for and what we are actually achieving. If you look at the second iteration point, there were let's say approximately 100 story points pending. That was our plan. And now when the team completed the work, there are 90 story points pending, which means the team is doing a better job. The team is ahead of schedule. They are completing more work than what they had planned for. And when the chart you see in the fifth iteration, there are more story points pending than what we had planned for which means we are behind schedule. At any point of time, when you look at these charts and you see these gaps, you can always discuss with your team why are we ahead of schedule, why are we behind schedule, so that you have a great understanding of what is happening in the release, what is happening iteration by iteration. That's what a burn down chart does. It helps you understand how many story points are pending, how much work is pending to be completed in a particular release or you can do it for a particular iteration as well. In the next video, we will talk about burn up chart. Thanks so much.